people we love on your end? My end? Yeah, because y'all see it before I do. And then see, like, because I have my own, I have my, uh, okay. okay. Yeah, it's, um, it's live. All right, we got one view. Let me refresh my. <laughs> See, what my tablet? Come on, tablet. All right, bear with me, you guys. This is a show. All right. Um... I ain't, I ain't touched this thing in so long. I don't even know how to use it. I gotta just talk to the side all day for the whole thing. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna do it this way. I'm right. All right. Hold up. Where is, where are you at? Okay. Here it is. All right. Hi, everyone. <sighs> what a day. <laughs> what a freaking day. I, this is, I'm just so happy. I want to thank God that I made it today. <laughs> it's just so hard. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. For those of you who are watching uh, the first official episode of I've Noticed. Um, and as you can see, the first I've noticed is there's only two of us. Um, but, uh, you know, we have rotating guests. Uh, I know, you know, I'm self-employed, but, you know, my friends, they they have lives. I don't. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, but Kista, she's out. She, she might be popping in. Uh, if not virtually, she will be popping in in the comments below, you know. So, um, but yeah, let's... Uh, we're going to talk about, <laughs> I've noticed things um, by, by uh, I'm single and uh, I'm dating and uh, are talking rather, you know, uh, and there's things that I've, I've noticed in the process. Um, Courtney as well, you know, we kind of share similarities. Uh, we got a, a little phrase, a slogan, uh, it ain't shit, <laughs> but, um, and then that's where where Kista comes in, you know, like, oh, they, there's some good guys out here, you know, but we'll get into that. that is, that's actually a question, which is, I kind of, I'm, I'm going to miss her. So hopefully, Kista, if you're watching this, hopefully comment below, because we're going to need you on, on, on a couple of topics, okay? But um, we'll get into the, um, I'll make sure you go like my business page, uh, order from my website, go to the uh, YouTube page. Um, I've officially did a, I've noticed podcast, um, uh, Facebook page, you know, once the uh, the numbers build up, we'll start recording from there, and then also as YouTube as well, and I'm also on Instagram, and you can also follow these ladies as well, um, I've tagged them. My Instagram is full court, C-O-R-T, if you want to follow me, and also, excuse my hair, we're, we're just going to give the girls texture tonight. And I love it, I told, I told, she's, she's giving me, like, she's giving me, um, the camouflage is giving me honey, but her hair is giving me like Tina Turner, Shaka Khan. You know, Listen, I, 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 pick, I pick my weave out, I blow dry it, you know, and this is this is what we got. So we're just, we're giving texture tonight. Trust me, it'll get rectified soon enough. Oh, please, I love it. Look, what do you think these is? Like, this is, this is Caucasian and this is African-American. <laughs> I'm biracial tonight. My hair is biracial. Flat iron not flat on you know well um thank you Whitney uh I'm, I'm actually upset about my hair because um I was going for a look you know I like the cotton candy swirls but uh I couldn't find my uh my, my chopsticks I was trying to go for a little hi y'all yeah. <laughs> I was trying to go for it but it's just all right but let's get into this okay so um with social media and everything I think social media is giving uh, guys a lot of confidence, a lot of confidence that you wouldn't normally see them on a regular basis. Like if you're sitting right in front of them, 
they wouldn't say or do the things that they do on this social media app. So um, social media has provided confidence for men and they have provided a limited access for men to us women, you know? Um, there's things that goes down in my inbox that I don't like. You and me both. <laughs> that I don't like and that I don't appreciate. And I have vocally said, hey, like, I, I feel like a, a teacher, like, hey, don't do that. You know, like, stop it. Don't you send me that, you bad boy, you know. But, and then there's some that I'd be like, okay, what else she got? <laughs> Go down a little <laughs> what else she got you know but um but overall I'm trying to be a lady you know um and I don't want to be like super rude and I don't want to block people you know and stuff but it, it's come to the fact where I'm gonna have to start blocking some of you guys like all this unsolicited penis or cock or whatever like <sighs> come on y'all like y'all got what are y'all doing where is this coming from? Like you, you would not walk up to me in a uh, Walmart or IGA or yeah. wherever, a Family Dollar, or my favorite Dollar Tree, and just voila! Like you wouldn't do that. So I should not have to wake up in the middle of the night thinking I'm going to get some orange juice or some apple juice, and then I'm seeing. But you want to know what my question is? I want to know who who are the women that this is working on for men to keep doing it? You know what I mean? For them to be like, I'll post a story and someone will send me back a dick pic. And I'm like, one, I didn't ask for this. And then two, it's like, who did this work on for you to think that it's going to work for me? You know what I mean? There's a reason. I, yeah, like, they feel like it's entire, like, it's got like, like, you're going to be like, hell yeah, like, no, we're not guys. We don't think women don't think like that. Like well, we're no more you for them to keep doing it. I don't know. There's one guy who was steady trying to get me to open a video chat so I can look at a dick. <laughs> like steady trying to. And it <laughs> and I'm just like, who did this work on for you to be so so confident that once I look at your dick, I'm gonna be like, I'm about to hop on that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Ain't nobody hopping on nothing. Like, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't know what's the, what's the, like, women that are currently watching. Have y'all received any unsolicited, meaning unasked for, you didn't ask for it. They just, you just woke up one day or you was just thinking you scroll on your timeline, you get a little ping. And the next thing you know, you open up and you got a, you got a Roger Wood, you got or uh, Oscar Maya or sometimes a Vienna. Right. you know sausage there and you like who 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 asked for this like who told you and, and like Courtney said like what made you think I was going to be like okay like, and what what was your response because maybe I can get a few tips to make it stop because okay. <laughs> so, so this is my thing okay so mine started from it, it, it started casual I will say they they started casual with a hey and you know how we ignored them for a couple of days and then they do a hi. And you're ignoring them for another couple of days thinking they're going to get the hit. And they be like, what's up? They ignore them again. And then they do the WID, what you doing? And then you be like, okay, you know what? Fuck. And then usually those are on like days where you're like, it's Sunday, it's raining, Ugh, you know, McDonald's, the ice cream machine don't work. You know, so you be like, hey, what's up? How you doing? You know, I'm sure they over there like, yeah finally she's saying hey but you do a little casual uh hey how you doing whatever and then they go with oh where you from how uh i like you and what's up with you and da, da, da. and fast forward all that you let them know you're not interested you're not interested but you're doing it in a nice southern sweet way then all of a sudden they just kick it up a little bit you know they may kick it up with a let me take you out and I'm like, no, I'm good because I don't date locally, you know. And then it go from, well, let me buy you breakfast. Let me buy you lunch. And then it, that's when you go, eat this, bam. <laughs> like, it just, it, go, it just, and so I'll be like, why you do that? Like, I honestly, I, I 
well, honestly, that's one because I love the, the, the Facebook uh, voice thing because I'm not typing because I want them to hear the frustration, the anger, the disrespect in my voice. And I'm like, why do you do that? Why, why are you sending this? What makes it so bad is at least they'll do that conversation with you and then send it. I don't even get that. I just get, I just get the fucking picture. Like, I'm so serious. Like, I'll open my inbox and, <laughs> like, I don't even get, I don't have no type of conversation. Listen. All right. So, at first, it was, like, when you space it out, like, you space out the, uh, I, I think, I think the dick pics come from whatever picture you post. Or, 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 or how are they feeling? I, I'm thinking for me. Like, when, when I get my dick pictures, it's because they want to fuck me right then and right there. Like, they, they ready? Like, yo, I got, come come over here. But I, uh, come get me, uh, whatever. It's that. Or it's either, oh, you look good today. And then they send the picture. So I guess to try to get me aroused to how they already feel. So it's one of two things. It's usually either um, um, they sexually, they want to fuck me, sexually attracted to me, or either they want me to be sexually attracted to them. And so, because I've been like, you know, pressing on them like, nah, I'm good. So I guess they be like, oh, she must think I, she must be thinking I ain't working with nothing, you know. And then, damn, I still know. don't see the logic though. Like, but even if you them like that, it's like there's no logic to that. I, to us, you know, because <laughs> to we, us. We, yeah, to us because we like conversation. Like, you know, we we discussed this before on an episode where we're like, you, we're sucker for conversation. I'm a sucker for laughs. You know, um, you get me laughing. You feed me. <laughs> like, I'm good. You like, you, I, I will develop an association with you, a friendship with you. And then wherever it goes from there, then that's just what it is. But guys don't do that. You know, they have to want to fuck you. Like before they even want to talk to you. Like we will come, we will converse with a man, a man, even if we're not attracted to them. We will be cordial and say, "Hey, how are you? How's your day?" Oh, I, and we'll find something nice. I like that hat, cute glasses, you know, nice little shirt, polo. Okay, I like that. Men, nah. If they don't want to fuck you, they don't want to talk to you. That's not necessarily true because I do know a guy or two that literally flirt with everybody just because they can. They might not be attracted <laughs> to them, but they'll do it just because they can like it's like it's almost like a game like oh i made her blush i made her giggle like <laughs> that is so that's not necessarily true but i, I see what you're saying because you know yeah because guys are guys but yeah I, I just i mean so what are you so are you just ignoring it or are you actually replying say hey why why are you what's what's like why are you doing this uh let's see okay let me go through some of my responses i've ignored of course and then i've also like been like what the fuck <laughs> and then i'll be like why why did you do that and then i know one guy he sent me like three dick pics in a row right <laughs> it was after i posted a picture on my story you know i'll be trying to post right. it or whatever and so it was right after my story he sent me a dick pic i looked at it i closed it out right after i did my initial like ah! <laughs> i closed it out right and then like a few minutes later, he sent me another one from a different angle. Okay. And I ignored that one. And then he sent me another one. And was, I oh, pop, pop. was it hard? Or was it hard candy or soft candy? Was it cheap? It was hard candy. It was okay. hard candy. And to be honest, if I'm being honest, it was it was a it was decent, right? Okay, okay. But I was still like, I don't know you. We've never right, talked right. before. I, I didn't even know you existed until you sent me this picture. Like <laughs> You know, I was just, I just wasn't with it. And so after the third pick, I still didn't look, but he sent me something. He sent me a message, right? Mm -hmm. And when I finally opened it, cause I didn't, I didn't, you know, I knew it was a dick pic. I thought he was just saying like, look at this or something like that, you know? And so I didn't open it, but when I went to go back and open it, he blocked me. <laughs> That motherfucker. Okay, was this a real person or like this, this was a real person? This was a real person because you know after the first one, of course, I went on his page and I'm like, who the fuck is this? Why would he block you? Because I didn't respond, and so like you know how like when you block somebody, like he unsent everything and then he blocked me. So I guess maybe he thought I was gonna like show. Uh, did his name? Did his name start with an A? I don't remember his name at all. Okay, okay, we're, we're, yeah, because that's but, that's kind of like the traits of this guy that was like doing that 
to everybody on uh, Facebook or whatever. But did he have dreads? No, he didn't have dreads. Fuck. Okay, well then maybe it wasn't that guy. But I was just like, why you block me? Because I I didn't want your dick pic. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's that? the, and that's the conversation. Like, that's when you take trying to take offense to it. You be like, I didn't even do anything to you. Like you be crazy. Right. But I um when I when I did do the uh why are you sending me this um they kind of he took the one guy he took a piss so he was like I can do what I want to do um this my dick <laughs> I was like what the fuck <laughs> it's like this my dick uh I can do what I want to do I'm like come on like don't don't do that and so he was like um uh, uh what he said what he I, I honestly I don't like if you're gonna do it like go all the way in. like I hate when guys send soft penis I, I hate I hate that like at least give me some shit where I can be like oh I remember you you know not no remembering you in like a bad way kind of sort of you know I want to remember you like I'm trying to think I don't think I've ever gotten a soft dick pic oh I have I'm lying this white boy I'm lying I'm lying I have because you know it was off it was a white dude off of freaking tender he sent me a soft dick pic but I, oh, was it was it the nap bait guy <laughs> no he blocked me too <laughs> I'm serious. no the nap date guy blocked me too because i blew him off <laughs> he was trying to like meet up with me right then and there and like i couldn't like i was with my mom and so i was just like i don't know how to take this woman's car out <laughs> And her not be upset that I'm gone for a couple of hours. So not at that exact moment, because we were celebrating something. And mm -hmm. so it just didn't work out, but he blocked me. Cause we had moved to Snapchat. And then after that day, uh, after I was like, well, I can't, I looked at it the next day, try to respond something. Okay. So basically we're gonna wrap this up with um guys. If you wouldn't do it in person, don't do it virtually. Stop sending us women dick pictures that we don't ask for. I mean, trust me, we're grown. Like, we will ask for them. I know I do. When I, when I want them, I'll ask for them, you know. I want to add another thing, mm -hmm. guys. Stop calling people on Facebook Messenger you don't freaking know. <laughs> oh, I don't have that. I, I have that. that. Matter of fact, there's a guy currently who keeps calling me on Facebook Messenger. I want, I shouldn't say his name. I'm not going to. No, don't, don't, don't. He calling me on Facebook Messenger. I don't know this man. I've never met him a day in my life. Matter of fact, I think I was telling you about this the other day, but he yeah, keeps yeah. calling me. Well, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to promote him to blockage. I am. I'm about to, I'm going to block him soon if he calls me again, because I'm just like, <laughs> It just doesn't make sense to me why you are why you are so bold to do that. <laughs> I, I think it's the social media. Like social media is giving guys like a lot of confidence that they wouldn't normally have in person, you know. Um, and then also it's like I said, it's giving them a lot of access. Like there's no way they would be in like a room or work, unless probably they're at work. But then if you're at work, a lot of people use the word like manufacturing jobs, so they can't really like see women per se, you know, like how beautiful they are or how good looking they are so the social media is like heaven for them it's like a, I guess it's like a tinder app facebook is like a tinder app for them. they like you know like i told you it's the hood spot like once they open it up to everybody like now everybody's in here there ain't no more hey how you doing i haven't seen you since high school college oh my god oh my god you got two kids no it's like oh my god you want this dick like no i don't want the dick like the fuck nigga please like get out of here all right, so let's move on to question number two. Um, okay, I've noticed that I personally think all men cheat. I mean, you know, but people always like to say if Keista was here, Keista would say, all men don't cheat. <laughs> so if all men don't cheat and good men quote unquote are like husbands like they're already like taken up because those are like the good men you know um are we gonna have to start becoming sister wives meaning like are we gonna have to like start sharing men because i, I i'm serious <laughs> i'm so serious because i mean you know like
like I, I've been dating. I've, I've been conversing rather, conversing. And a lot of single men, which they're not single, a lot of men are married, but they're portraying to be single. So wives, your husbands are cheating, okay? <laughs> they're cheating. And I like your husbands. <laughs> like, they're awesome men before I know that they are your husbands. So I'm like, I would not be sharing this guy. <laughs> like, because I mean, it's just crazy because like the single guys that I bump into or meet or whatever, they're like, Ugh. you know, like that's they're sending dick pictures in your inbox like you ain't asked for them you know but uh yeah so i just i mean i'm 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 on the if all men don't cheat then the good guys are usually married so are we gonna have to start sharing married men well i let me put start, with, start with the all men don't cheat. do you believe that i, I mean i don't believe all men cheat that being said, I do believe all men ain't shit, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think that all men, I don't think all men cheat, um, but I'm not sharing nobody. I, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't be okay with that. I just can't, I can't be okay with that. So, but like, I do think that like most of the good men out there are already married. They're already taken. If they're not married, they've been in a relationship for a long, long time with someone who's just the light of their world and everything else like that. And they they not leaving I her. Crush. I had a whoo. <laughs> but um I just I don't think we have to start sharing. You know what I think it is? What? I think it's because a lot of people are like you who don't want to go outside their preference. Oh I please do you know how much I have changed okay first off let's go okay would I give too much what two three episodes ago you said that you no, no, no. do not no, want I'm about, to I'm say, okay. okay let me let me tell you about how I changed our the list usually when you say when you say preference that uh got we usually say the list that we have like how you got this 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 right no, I'm, I'm not talking about necessarily the list because if okay. we're talking about qualities, you can find qualities in any type of guy. I'm talking about preference because there are people like you who will have every mar- <laughs> every box on their mar- every <laughs> everything on their list checked off for a guy, but because he is not black, they're going to say I, no. So I knew so you. So when I'm not talking about like when I say preference, I mean the type of guy. Like there are some people who only like muscular guys. You know, guys who go to the gym who are gym rats, blah blah blah, mm-hmm. and they won't date like a real skinny guy or a real real heavy guy or something like that. And okay. they won't go outside of that. But they can't find anybody or like they have to share him and stuff like that. But that's low-key on them because they won't go outside their preference i don't think we necessarily are at a point where we have to share men i just think women need to start being more open-minded okay this okay first off i would like to say this is a disclaimer (laughs) you what a disclaimer i would like to say that if the world don't open up, <laughs> meaning this virus shit ain't over with in 2021, by the time I turn 36, I am just going to hire a professional matchmaker and give her my list. <laughs> give her my list and then let her do the work while I'm just sitting over here, you know, working, you know. And then she can call me and then I'll, she'll say, Ashley, I got 10 candidates. I'm like, girl, narrow it down to five. You know what to do. So that's when we go with the, do he has to be black? <sighs> he need to have something, a little, a little drop in there, you know? So we you know, does, does he have to be, does he have to be? No, but I'm just saying, what I'm saying is she went on my list. She got 10. But I say I'm not do I'm not dating ten people. I, I don't want to have a conversation with narrow it down to five, you know. And so that's what she's of course going to have to come to me and say, okay, well, in order for us to get it from ten to five, we got to do this, 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 this. 
I'm willing to compromise some things. Like I've compromised so much stuff already. Like, what the fuck? Like, I might as well just go ahead and get with the dude that ride the bicycle. I mean, he's a great guy. He loves his mom. He don't have no kids. Um, he loves his dog. Uh, he's 35 and older. Um, he had never been locked up before. Uh, he graduated high school. Like, <laughs> wait, Courtney. I mean, I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> just, what, I mean. Is the person on the bicycle black? <laughs> of course they're black. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, okay, so even, I can admit that there is something that, because like I said, I will, I will give anything a chance to, for the the trying not to block myself from my you know soulmate or whatever you know right. I will give anything a chance. However, when I do look at men or when I visualize like the type of man that I want, I have a certain look about him, right? Okay. When I when I imagine that, and I need to get out of that because you know that that comes in the factor when people who I don't necessarily you know, look at come into play. So okay. I can admit that. And I'm making it a point. I can't, sorry, I'm trying to get this thing off my screen. I'm going to make it a point in the future whenever somebody decides that they want my ass to yeah. you know, try to get that visualization out. Now, am I going to make sure that I'm going to be talking to someone that I'm at least a little bit attracted to, or at least can find attractiveness in them? Yes. Um, I used to be like the type of person to be like, uh, you can date people who you're not attracted to. You just gotta get to know what's in here. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? mean? But that's necessary. That's kind of true though, because you it really is, are, it's you, true, you put them but, in the friend zone, right? So, and then, and so, but I I have been becoming this type of person where I have to be, at least find some attractiveness in you somewhere. Like, oh, he got some real pretty eyes. <laughs> but he got some pretty eyes. You know what I mean? But like when I imagine like who I want to like, uh, uh, not a perfect guy, but a guy that I think that would look nice beside me, I do have a specific image in my head, but I need to get rid of that. I mean, okay. But see, the thing is about me is I don't have a race with my image. <laughs> this, is, this is okay i'm about to say this like i was you know because with covid and everything and social distancing you can't really go you're not supposed to go out because the numbers are going up uh, whatever right okay so i'm on this this app thing or whatever and uh people outside my race even though i said brothers you know black men you know i've had um i've had a uh he was puerto rican um I had a Puerto Rican guy message me. He was from Florida. And then um, I've had a couple Caucasian guys, um, but they were older. Uh, and then they were freaky, freaky. Like I, I like changed my diaper freaky. I, I ain't with all that shit. Uh, and then I had one older guy. He was like, he kind of, I don't know. It felt like he was pandering me because he was like, he was like uh, the typical white guy uh brown hair blue eyes or whatever and he was like um but I sing at a black church and I go to a black church he didn't need to tell me that he didn't even tell me that you know so I reply back to him because I'm, I'm I'm also thinking older I think I'm gonna go older I think I want 40 and up now um because I'm serious I'm, I'm sorry I've had an experience with a 45 you know, um, I won't forty it up because I feel like they should be already established. Um, just let me bring you these cute little chubby babies. You know, everything else should be you should be taken care of. Like you should already have. I shouldn't have to. I don't. I don't feel like I should have to raise nobody. Like I shouldn't have to be like so. Um, you you just so you're gonna be a delivery driver all your life. Like I mean, no offense, delivery drivers, but. Isn't that like a, a, a age limit? Like, like you shouldn't be in drive through all your life. Like you should have like goals, accomplishments and stuff. Like you should be reaching for it. And then you can't take care of a family with that source of income, you know? And my thing is, like I said, I don't want to be a sugar mama. 
don't count my income. Let's focus on yours, you know. Um, but I asked him, I said, I said, have you ever talked to a black person before? You know, and he was like, um, no, but I'm willing to give you a, a, a shot or a, a chance. And I'm like, I don't want to be your token. Like, I don't want to be your first experience. Well, and I, I agree with that. I wouldn't want that either. Yeah, I don't want to be your first experience. So, but like I said, I have, I'm, I'm real, I'm confused about this. All men don't cheat thing because I have been meeting a lot of men that are in relationships that say that they are attached. And honestly, I respect those men. I respect those men so much because they are giving me the opportunity to choose which side dish I would prefer to be. You know, I can either be coleslaw or baked potato. Preferably, I prefer loaded. I want bacon, sour cream, chives. You know, I want all that, you know. But the guys who just take my rights away and just automatically make me a side chick, I hate that. I hate that. So all the men, even though I'm single, all the men that I've been dealing with are talking to, conversing with rather, they've been in relationships. So I'm like, that's what made me come up with the, we're probably going to have to end up start sharing guys. Good guys. Well, see, you know what? I will say a lot of married men be in my inbox, more than single men. That's for sure. So you would think like, is it on their profile like married? Do you have to do the research? Like they are full out posting their families or <clears throat> if they don't have kids, um if if they don't have kids, they're uh you know posting their wife and everything like and I mean like full out like this is the light of my life, like this is my world. I don't know if I could ever go on without this woman in my life. She has been such a pinnacle this you know like like i mean full out doing that but yet are in my inbox so and i mean and they're not in in my inbox like oh hey like that was that was a cute picture or you know hey i ain't seen a while i mean like they're like let me fly you out let me take you out let me do it so i mean you would think that i would be one of the type of people like oh man she i don't believe that but i will say there are a lot of married men for those who are watching, maybe some married men that you know <laughs> that are in my inbox. And I'm just like, listen, I've had a guy who he been trying. He he been trying for a little while, but I feel like I'm a fetish for him, um, like a a, a BBW fetish or whatever because he's so small. He's like so small, like teeny. I mean, like skinny and short. You know, uh, I'm just like, boy you're not about to get me caught up on some charges or whatever like but the thing about it, what pissed me off is the fact that he i know you don't cheat stefan do you know him and his girlfriend are in a profile picture together and he still came to my damn inbox i don't know the profile picture together I think got some of those too. And then when you bring it up, they'd be like, you worry about the wrong thing. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This guy, if he's watching, he's probably going to know. That, well, then again, they all say this. Well, he said it, but it was funny to me. Um, I was like, I told him, I said, because um, I didn't want to say, oh, no, you're too skinny for me. Oh, no, you got a girl. Like, I did mention about, so your girl, you know? Um, but I was like, I don't talk to um, Marion County or the surrounding areas. He said, well, between me and you, let's just say I'm not from here. <laughs> I mean, it was so funny. I was like, you are so stupid. Like, come on, bro. Like, really? And so I was like, that's the type of shit that like, I'm like, like you said with the penis thing, like, do women go for that? Like, you see that he has a girl and you still talk to the guy? Or is it like you like, oh my God, he, he's talking to me. Like, I am not that pressed for no conversation. Trust me. I am, but I ain't going that low. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not pressed for that. Like, <sighs> no. um, I just, I just, I, I don't like the idea of having to sneak around. You know what I mean? Right. I don't like the idea of not being replied to because you're with your wife. <laughs> well, see, the thing. Okay, you, you couldn't, you couldn't be a side chick. Like, just from what I know of you, you couldn't because you like a lot of attention. Because you need attention. Like you, you first you I couldn't deal with you. Like if I was a guy, I I couldn't deal with you because you would want 
so much. But I, I feel like you probably like romantic attention though. You have a day, you know, like cuddle, like touchy feeling, you know, PDA and stuff like that. Like you couldn't be a side chick. So That's exactly you, me. You would get you would get demoted. Like he would like have to like put you in timeout and stuff. And he'd be like, listen, this was the rules. You agreed to this and this, and you're not do- exactly you like you probably be the type to where you would catch feelings. Like even if you try to do like a friends with benefits type of situation you will fall quicker you know um (laughs) and you know what i just thought about (laughs) um anyway (laughs) um so like you were saying um i couldn't be a side chick just because i just don't like the thought of having to, to separate my time or split my time uh, like you said, but you're right. When you were talking about how I need attention, that is spot on. That is spot on. Like, I don't need, like, the type of attention I need is not, like, you talking to me 24 hours a day. The type of attention I need is I need, like, like you said, romantic attention. Like, I want you to cuddle with me. I right. want, you know, when we're, we're together, I want you to touch me. I like that PDA stuff. Like, I want to cuddle. Like, like, when I walk past the kitchen or, like, when you're in the kitchen, I walk past you, you need to be slapping my butt. Or else I'm gonna feel like you don't love me. Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Oh well, I tell I you this don't right you want here. me anymore. I t- I I'll say this right here. Um, I think I would be a great side chick. <laughs> I would. Um, but the thing is, I probably a guy probably wouldn't want me to be his side chick because he's not gonna be the only person I'm talking to. And so guys like that usually have an issue with that they're like no you're mine like no I'm not yours your wife is yours or your girl your main girlfriend is yours I'm just here as a you know uh, an accessory I would be an accessory you know um but I think that would be a great side chick um not saying that I'm, I'm advertising that <laughs> don't send no more unsolicited dick pictures you know <laughs> like I'm just saying like for my personality or who I am I, I know that I would be a great side chick um you know, uh, I probably, but he would probably like want to promote me because like I'm so like cool and stuff, whatever. And uh, I, I'll probably be like, oh, your wife is cute again. Uh, you know, let's. I ordered her something offline. Like, I, maybe you should get it. Like, reimburse me. Like, I'm just like, you know. But at the point that I'm at in my life right now, I don't want to be that. But that's why I, I came up with the all been cheek and ain't shit. And um, are we gonna have to start sharing these good men because? I'm willing to converse with someone that is not my same ethnicity, but I start having panic attacks because I'm like, what are we going to talk about? Do he know who uh, three, six month is? Oh my God. Does he? Oh. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know that sounds so ignorant, but, it it's, true. It but it's true. Like, but he's probably going to be like, oh my God, does she know who Garth Brooks is? You know, like some shit like that. Shania Twain or something like that and I do you know but um I, I don't I don't know but you know what if I was a side chick if I was lonely enough to be like okay fuck it I'll be a side chick I right. wouldn't catch feelings then because you're already dealing with somebody else so I'm already detached you know what I mean yeah like and in your head you got like I already know what this is right but if it's a friends with benefits back to what you were just saying yes mm-hmm. that that's an it that's what that would be an issue for me but if you want to go ahead and move on to the next subject. <laughs> All right, so that wraps that up. Okay, so let's go to question number three, oh, which is... Um, we do have comments. It's from okay. Stephon. Um, he said, that's right, girl, preach. I'm not sure which part that was on. Okay. Um, he's saying, those men disgust me. He said, I don't cheat. There was a married woman that wouldn't stop flirting with me. Being a side do I hear... Being a side dude, I hear is easy. Get some love and get free stuff, and they don't nag you. The dude basically winning. I mean, you can say that about a side woman too. Oh, they oh for sure. Uh, okay. And then side side girls, side chick, they get way more gifts. Like they get like it probably might be more sexual stuff, you know, like lingerie, you know, because you want to see her with that. And then of course, like other little trinkets, like bags and hair. Course, hair. I feel like yeah. when side chicks get gifts, that's like a form of a. Uh, a payment a payment but not like for sex but like to keep you quiet oh yeah oh yeah yeah Yeah. like 
let me keep my side chick happy and buy her all this stuff so she don't get off her rocker one day and decide to call my wife up. I mean, and, and you know, behind the scenes, you know, I was contemplating my prices, <laughs> my hush hush money, you know, like I just want I just want to be a bomb and just blow shit up, you know, but I'm I'm trying to be a lady because I learned well we, that's a whole nother topic all right let's go to question number three okay so all right question number three is because we was just you know getting off of the uh I feel like all men cheat but we do know we can't confirm that all men don't cheat but we do know all men ain't shit it's just in your DNA you can't help it you, you can't know? help it you, you can't well, help it just, that does just, not mean you're a bad man it just right. means shit. you just ain't shit and then how I'm gonna explain it to you uh putting the medicine in the candy by saying you ain't shit i know some of y'all may take offense that because i i am shit what what what, what should I? okay listen you know how growing up you heard the phrase and even now as an adult man you heard the phrase oh that's just what men do oh uh, you know yeah oh y'all just ain't shit like that's y'all get the past y'all you know there's a lot of things that y'all do that us women we cannot do because we are women you know but moving along. So question number three is, um, if you was in a relationship and your guy cheated on you, would you want to know publicly, like find out publicly, you know, or like if you, like if you was like done with him, like in your head, like you was like, you know what, this just ain't working for that. Or would you want to know privately, like behind the scenes? Like if somebody just slid in your inbox and was oh, like, I gotta take this right here. Let's not the chick who's actually he's sleeping with, but a friend of the chick that he's like, because she don't want to be revealed. Cause you know, once a person on your inbox, you start doing a little investigation, you go on her page, blah, 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 you know, but your friend, you know. Yeah. Um, so what do you think that I'm gonna say? What do I think? This is Did just you... a testament of how well you know me. Because a lot of it's tricky sometimes, though. Because I wouldn't expect you to come out here with camouflage. Like, I, I, uh, I'm a, I'm um, a military brat. Like, oh, why yeah. is that so shocking? Um, <laughs> I'm going to say probably private. Because probably private. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Private. You want to move on. You private. Private privately because you, you just move on privately you are absolutely right yeah. you are correct i don't need okay so okay so in my mind when people cheat it's not necessarily because something's wrong with the other person they just decided to cheat and that's what they did right. because i i've heard of women who or and even men i've heard of women and men who do everything right you know what I mean? Of course, nobody's perfect, but they do everything right. They do what they're supposed to do and they still get cheated on. So I'm a firm believer of there's, just, there's, it doesn't have to be like, oh, she wasn't doing something or he wasn't doing right. something to fulfill that person. So they went and cheated. That person cheated because they wanted to cheat point blank period. Right. Most of the time, because they wanted their cake uh, and to eat it too. Maybe. But I don't need anyone thinking that about me. <laughs> you know what I mean if my spouse went and cheated on me and it became like a whole big thing I don't need anyone being like oh she must have been doing something right you know she can't cook you know Miss you know, <laughs> <laughs> take out Miss Uber you know what I mean like I don't need people thinking that as well and also like I'm a private person I don't need everyone in my business when people be like oh oh you and such and such broke up and see, and see that that right there is why you just said too is why I would probably be like if his side chick tagged him and it was like then I ain't got to explain it no more. I don't have to explain because y'all saw it. Like like oh so you went you and uh Brian not together no more. Girl, you didn't see the post. You didn't see his little bald head bitch post post like you ain't see it. No, I ain't trying I to explain that. it. Because one, not everyone needs to know why we broke up, for one. <laughs> not everyone needs to know. Y'all broke up? I didn't know that. Yeah, girl, we broke up. Pass me the potato salad. You know, but you know what? But, but you know what's so crazy about that? Most people already know anyway. Like, oh, I, yeah. I've had so many people call me with their 
and other people already knew that their dude or their girl was cheating they just didn't know right 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 right. and i would hate to be the person in that situation however if it was like say if the other person knew like oh i know that he was cheating on her i already know it and i didn't like maybe they're like oh y'all broke up why y'all break up and i'd be like bitch you knew <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that I, I would even if i'm like if i have found out that everyone knew except me i wouldn't even bring it up i would just be like okay yeah yeah we broke up why y'all break up just just we broke up i don't <laughs> I would see, say that. See, I don't, like that. see, I don't like that, Courtney. Because see, that's one thing I, I'm not liking about you right now. What? Because I, because I feel like you're protecting him. Like, no, let that happen. Well, see, that's the thing. I'm not thinking about him when I'm saying that. Well, I'm when I'm saying that, I'm saying like I don't need to explain my business to you. I don't know you. <laughs> and, and see, I, I'm, 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 and I, but I do see where where you're thinking like, oh, you're protecting him because you yes. feel like everyone should know this man is a yeah, teacher. like he ain't shit. Like let us know he ain't shit. Well, so you like, you know what? He was dating that pretty this. girl Courtney, and he did her so wrong. I don't want to. Talk to How about this? If I'm ever in that situation, I'll just be like, girl, he just wasn't shit. <laughs> but, but I, but I need look. I will feel like I know men ain't shit. I need more. Like I need like shit. I like. This level is the girl that I associate with. Like maybe I know you through somebody. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't care to tell you every little detail about my business because I wasn't telling you before. So why you didn't even know now? Right, right, right. Man knows it. Yeah, I, so I, I like if it was you and you was like, "Girl, why y'all broke up?" I'd be like, "Girl." Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, he, go, he was this much ain't shit. Like, oh, okay, like, right. So let's that's flat my his thing. tires. Like, oh my god. And plus, I feel like if anyone I know or who I talked to decided like, oh, they broke up, so maybe I got a chance. You need to, you deserve. Go ahead. Whatever, Go ahead. You, whatever happens out of that relationship. I mean, like that one time where the meme was like, um, uh, it was it was basically saying like how a girl, his new girlfriend, thinking she over there with a prize and she's just so happy, she's just in love. I think it was around Thanksgiving. She was like, they they posted pictures around the turkey, doing fall pictures. And she was like, girl, if that girl only knew within the next couple months, her hair about to start falling off. <laughs> I was like, and it be like that. That's why you got to give these men time. I hate logging on to Facebook and I see y'all with different men. I'm doing the, the cloud shit, Mr. Crab shit. <laughs> I hate like y'all be with so many different men, like even super thin. But anyway, like uh, y'all gotta give these men time. Like y'all be having them around y'all kids. I hate seeing what y'all y'all got y'all children, babies like laying on their chest with no shirt on. Like give these men time. They gonna show you they ain't shit. Just give and them that's time. why I say I'm not post. I'm not even thinking about i'm not even typing like oh me and they had a good time like <laughs> i at least six months i'm sorry it's just not happening it's not because i don't know you yet and one right like, i just feel like even if like i was about to say too much but like say i um met some guy right okay. and like maybe we hit it off and we started dating we like three months in you know still in the honeymoon phase because I don't care what nobody say. When you first get into a relationship, you don't have to be married. You're in a honeymoon phase. You yeah, know, that's the happiness, the bliss. They're showing thing. you the best parts of them, right? They're Even at things. three months, like maybe I'm like super duper comfortable with you. Like I'm farting around you, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Ain't putting on lashes or makeup. Right, 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 right. You know. Um, but I don't do strips over here, so mine gonna stay on. Well, I'm not. But, <laughs> I but like, to, you I know, to. I'm looking the mess, you know, and I'm super comfortable around you. I don't even see myself even introducing you to my parents. Cause I mean, I don't got no kids to be introduced, but I don't even see you into like, even my mom, like I'm not even FaceTiming you while like I'm around her. Like <laughs> I just, I'm, mm -mm. it's just way too soon. Like you got to see who a person is. I got to see you mad. I got to see you when you're, you don't get what you want. I got to see you when, uh, I don't see that. I need to see you in all different types of seasons to feel like I know who you are. Absolutely. I can't at least somewhat predict your reaction to a certain situation. I don't know you like that. Yeah, like I, you, I have to see Not you like angry. that, but I don't know you know you. 
Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. I have to see you angry. And I'm not saying angry with me. I'm just saying angry, period. It could be with a coworker. It could be with a person at Walmart. Like, I, like it was a guy that I was just recently talking to. And I didn't like how he dealt with, first off, I didn't like how he used homophobic, homophobic slurs. He, you know, I didn't like that. And I didn't like how he dealt with customer service. Like he doesn't, he's very impatient. Um, I, it was just a lot of like red flags that I, that wasn't, like I said, wasn't geared towards me, but it was just for other people. And so you gotta, you gotta like stop ignoring that shit, ladies. Like if this is the person you like and want to be with, like you got to think about like, this is who you're going to be out with. Right. And so when he see a, he used the P word. P-U-N-K. And I'm like, why do you keep saying that? Like, don't, don't do, that's very disrespectful. Like, don't, don't do that. You know, like, that's gonna cause you to get in some stuff. Like, cause, you know, they be strong. They fight. Like, at the end of the day, they still a man, you know, and, <laughs> you know, and then that, and then like him having attitudes with customers. So I'm like, come on, I work in the customer service industry. Like, come on, like, you gotta be patient with people. You no, know, honestly, there was a guy, I, oh, there was a guy that I met when I was still working at the hotel before I started with the clinic. I was still in school. There was a guy. And like, if I remember how we were talking about not too long ago about like the imagination of like the type of guy, like I would see standing next to right, him. Right, right. He was that guy. Like, <laughs> okay. I was super attracted to him. He was stupid tall. Like, and I, I don't think I've ever been with the tall guy ever, <laughs> but he was stupid. Now, when you say tall, give me a height, like over 5'10". No, he was over six foot. Oh, he was six tall. Before. He was over six foot. Cause I remember specifically, I was like, how tall are you? I was like, this, <laughs> like, granted, I'm not, you know, the tallest, but I'm average height, but like, I was like, how tall are you? He's over six foot. He's not like no six, four now, but he's over right, six right, right. But he was tall and you know he had a little his little muscular thing you know this <laughs> of course he was defined of course he was and so he was um haunted. i've been really attracted to dark skin men lately i know for the longest time if you know me you know i was attracted to light skins but he was dark skin he's in he's in my season right now and like <laughs> he was fine but he was an asshole like oh. an asshole and i mean to like everybody like what's it called because he was staying at the hotel that i was working at because he was a firefighter and they needed him over there for whatever reason. And so he was staying there and we would talk here and then, but the other workers there, they were having so much fucking trouble with him. Like he was arguing with them, you know, just being complete asshole. And so I saw him do it one day with another guest. I wasn't working though, but I was up there for something. I wasn't working, but I, we were talking. I was like, why are you being such a jerk? <laughs> There, there goes a white girl coming at me but I was like why are you being, <laughs> why are you being such a jerk and he was like man da, 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 da. I was like okay but like I was like you're being like a real like asshole right now For no I, was like, reason. I was like you're the type of guy who would like be like the rude ass dude to the waitress like for no fucking reason and he was like no 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 I was like can you sit here and tell me that you've never been an asshole to a waitress I was like please tell me that and he was like if I did, she deserved it. And I was like, Oh God, I, I heard uh, he would say that. I was like, nah, nah. And and that's I was, what I was like. From that day on, I did okay. not respond to a text. I didn't say hi to him while he was still at the hotel. When he left, I didn't even say bye. I was just like, Yeah, I get I, I I I foresee things down the road. Like I'm not caught up in a fairy tale, the Disney fairy tales, like this like the guy that you described as tall and he's a firefighter oh my god i like, know that was I, so oh my god to me. that was so attractive to me and he ruined it by being an asshole <laughs> and so to me i would be like i, I me i'm a conversationalist i probably i'm a low-key life coach <laughs> i'm like were you abused as a child did you see your mom get like I, i'm like where's the anger because you you're a firefighter so, so therefore there's something in you that want to help save people you know but there's also there's something also within you that's like fuck these people like you know come on like but yeah so the lesson here i would like to say is just pay attention um also uh i kind of going back to the question uh, of whether or not finding out uh, my guy cheated 
I found out privately, like somebody inboxed me, it could either be the girl herself or she had her friend do it, or either the girl or, you know, or her friend posted publicly. Pers- I, publicly, go ahead. Go ahead and let me know. Um, I mean, so I, like I said, so I'm going to have to uh, explain to my cousins and my friends. I, I'll just screenshot shit, which I'm going to get hella screenshots. People are going to be like, oh my God, this is this. Girl, I'm like that motherfucker, you know. I'm, you, know. but see, yeah. So, I, I either way, it's fine with me. Like, if it's publicly, then I, I have like a, a short amount of time to, to do the revenge or whatever I'm gonna do. But if it's like privately, like if the girl just like, hey, I just want to let you know that, and then she starts sending me like proofs and stuff because you know we all agree we kind of need receipts, you know, or whatever. And then I start lining up with, hold up, he said he was on a business trip in, oh, okay. So now privately behind the scenes, I can start doing the shit that I need to do. Like, you know, withdraw money and change locks and, you know, things like that. But change locks. Oh, no. Oh, listen, you ain't coming back up in there at all. But, okay. So let's go to the fourth question. Um, I've noticed that Black people don't be getting divorces. And what I mean by that is I categorize it like this. You have white people divorced, which they go through the legal system. They actually hire attorneys. They do the paperwork. They go to court. They're like, I'm done with that jerk (laughs) in your terms. I'm done with that jerk. He's crazy, you know. Black people, on the other hand, they just act like, oh, it costs so much. You you get tax income taxes every damn year. Like you can do oh, if, let's just say because a lot of men like to say we don't get income tax. We have to pay. Da, da, da. Okay, well you get overtime at your job. <laughs> don't uh don't don't fill up your motorcycle one weekend or two weekends. Like, like you there there's money. Like there's no excuse for you to be meeting going out dating. How do you you can't date when you're married? I hate that shit. Like, I hate that. So I've noticed that Black people don't get divorces. And um, growing up, I've heard Black women say um, they're worth, Black men, are, their husbands are worth more dead than they are alive. Meaning like, uh, not like they killed them now, I but know, it's just the fact of, uh, of course, life insurance policies, but also their social security, you know? So they feel like, uh-uh, I got kids by this man. No, I want all my benefits. So I don't be understanding black people. She got her her, her, her boyfriend over here and they live in a life. And he got his girlfriend over here and they live in a life. And typically with black men who are still married, the woman, which in hindsight is the mistress, the side chick, kind of legally, you know, they be engaged. I'm like, how do you be engaged to a married man? That's not possible, sweetie. Oh God. God, that shit pissed. Like, my, I need some blood pressure medicine. Like, God knows that shit be pissing me off. Um, well, see, I don't believe that because my parents are both fully black and they got a divorce. But my mom, but my mom, like, she's the type of person where if she set her mind on something, it's happening. So, like, <laughs> I, 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 mm. I guess you can't really count my parents. But my dad is the same way. Like, if they decide something is happening, it's happening. So, but I mean, that, I mean, that's just the excuse. I think a part of it is like, you know, how like uh, really religious people, they don't believe in divorce. You know what I mean? But if you want to use the R word in this, then therefore they shouldn't have girlfriends or boyfriends. Or have kids with well, these girls. I mean, you're not supposed to eat. Okay, I get what you're being when you're saying technical and stuff, but you know how people pick and choose what they want to believe out the Bible. Like, they don't think uh, gay marriage should be a thing, but they eat seafood every fucking Sunday after church when they go to Calabashes or whatever. But, um, <laughs> yeah. but I, don't, I, just, they do. I don't know. I mean, some people don't believe in divorce and then um like you said some people just don't want to pay for it they get taxes every year but they don't want to they don't want to spend them on that <laughs> listen greg got a car in the shop that he ready to get out 
Listen, <laughs> I, I just, I hate married men who are on dating sites are, who are dating. You can't focus on your, like, get your shit together first. Like, get your paperwork together before you come out here and talk about you want to start dating somebody. Like, that's not fair. Like, I don't know, it's not fair. Like, it's not like, why would you do something like that? That's so weird. Like, and then women go for that. Like, I'm like, oh, no. Uh-uh. no Some uh-uh. women are okay with it. I mean, and then you also got to think, there's some people who maybe think that they're like, they're like, oh, this didn't work out. This ain't never happening again. Because I mean, some people are like that where- Like getting married again? marriage once and it mm-hmm. did not work out. And so they're not doing again. They don't want to pay for the divorce. So they're like, I'm not getting married again. So I ain't got to worry about this shit. What, what, okay, let's go with that. So if he's like, she's ruined him, his experience of marriage, that's typically a guy that's usually like, don't like her at all, period. So if anything, he should use that as like fuel and fire to be like, let me get away from this bitch as far as possible. Like, I don't want her to get anything. And you you know what? That's another reason why they probably don't be getting married. Because I've heard some, I know some couples where there's a men, because usually the men usually have, the assets in the relationship and he was like i'm that bitch ain't getting nothing i'm like just because you don't want to either half it or divide it period whatever the percentage may be right as an adult like sitting down with people as an adult your attorney her attorney y'all figure it out do you realize when you die she's getting a hundred percent like what? black men don't think at all they be so caught up in their ways of like she ain't getting nothing i ain't giving her nothing but when you pass she's gonna get everything and that's a, like going back to what i was saying like i've heard growing up and even now i heard black women say i'm not giving him no divorce because i want everything like i want what i want i want what i deserve and then he'll be like, you don't deserve nothing. Okay, well then go ahead and go to the, go through the divorce. Let the judge decide if y'all can't agree on something and let him decide and be done with it. Because what happens is, what's happening is these married men go out here and start dating. Of course, the woman is going to fall in love with him, right? She don't want to be with him. I look at it like I can't be with a, a guy that's already married, but y'all are separated. That's nothing. They don't even be legally separated. Like, they don't even file the paperwork to even be legally separated. They're just Black people separated. I, I wouldn't even, even if they were legally separated, I still wouldn't deal with somebody who was doing that because you're only separated. So that means y'all are low-key hoping for a chance to get unseparated. So it's like, I, st- I still couldn't. I was like, you're I'm not doing separated. it at all. I'm not. Even when I've had somebody actually text, like, show me the paperwork. And I'm like, because, because you know, I'm like, I don't believe it. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I don't believe it. And so he really sent me the paperwork. And I was like, well, I mean, I'm just not doing it. Because, like you said, it's, it's a possibility that in this of them um, being separated, they might rekindle things, especially if children are involved. You know how that goes. Because when they, what, daddy, when you're coming home, eh, right, 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 right. You know, and then, um, if you're all separated, you're hoping that there's a chance for reconciliation and I don't have time for it. Because especially if I get my feelings in and you know I that you're angry you as if we can work this out, I'm going to go back to my wife and get time. And then the wife is going to go extra hard anyway because most women don't want, you know, we give ourselves to these men. So you don't want it to end like that. You know, so they are women used to always have the hope for well, and then if he see if she sees him with another woman, she's really gonna go extra hard at like right you exactly. need that time. You need, like, I ain't got time for that. Like and, see, and that's the thing. I feel like I I don't feel like I would ever be crazy in a situation where if my man was cheating, I would act crazy. You know what I mean? <laughs> or if I if it was like um just any situation, I wouldn't be crazy, but in a situation like that where I like fell in love with somebody who was only separated and then they chose to go back to their wife, I would be crazy then. Mm-hmm. I'd have to ruin both of y'all lives. Because that's just... So, re- hold up. You would really do that? Like... Yes, because <laughs> my feelings are not... what My feelings are not your... Um, 
your Barbies, my feelings are not your Hot Wheels. They are nothing to be played with. Okay, with. Yeah, and absolutely. so if, if I actually was like, oh, well, you're separated, I guess, you know, there's a connection there. I'll give it a try. And then you allow me to build something with you to the point where I am emotionally invested because that is one thing that about me that I will be crazy about. And that is my feelings. I will get crazy over my feelings. So if you hurt my feelings, <laughs> now I got to ruin both of your lives. <laughs> that's just it i'm right. gonna be calling jobs i'm gonna be having a barber and shirley moment with your wife like <laughs> i was crazy off of that listen that means that means if i was like okay you're separated but i'll be with you that means that you have fought for to get me to you know try it with you you know what i mean if i had gotten past that point to where i was like even though you're separated i'll be with you you have you know tried and tried and tried and tried to get me to be with you and i finally said yes you know, I'm, I'm confused about that job thing because like, is there some type of clause in your contract of where if you're married, but you have an affair with somebody that's not working there, like they can fire you for that? Like, oh, what does that do? I don't know about jobs, but I know that that could be like a, a, a thing in like the final divorce. So oh. like, say like if, um, cause technically you are still married, even though you're separated. Right. So if, say if like your, your wife who you're separated with caught you outside of that relationship and then y'all, you know, are going to the paperwork of the final divorce. She could be like, well, I want the house. And you'd be like, well, I want the house. What you mean? Why do you get the house? And then she'll be like, well, you went outside the relationship while we were still separated, you know. See, I, yeah, I need to talk to an attorney because uh, if you, like, file paperwork where you're legally separated, like, do you have to, do, can you not date anybody? Because I just thought it was you just out living outside the home um for a year because it has to be a year you're living outside the home or whatever and after that you can go with but if you can't like be with somebody else then i don't okay. think you can i don't think you can um granted i'm not an attorney i don't know right how right work, but i don't think you can because it's just the same as if like you married someone and then they cheated while y'all were still married say you weren't separated it's just the same thing because you're only separated meaning you're not living in the same household so you're only separated and so, like, say if you weren't separated and you cheated outside the marriage, that's, you know, cost for, like, you know, that other person getting everything they want during the divorce because you went outside the marriage. You know what I mean? Right. So I feel like, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's the same thing as that because you're only separated, meaning you're not together in the same household, you know, stuff like that, but you're still married. So it's still the same thing, but I'm not an attorney. I don't know nothing about that. Um, we have two comments. Okay. Um, Stefan said, I never understood the saying, you have the cake and eat it too. Like, we don't always eat the cake. I feel like <laughs> you're being funny. I don't appreciate that. <laughs> but, uh, and then Sharon Cook Taylor said, no, unless you are legally divorced, I don't have time for you. Right. But Sharon, I, I totally agree. That's why I don't care when a guy said, oh, but I'm separated. I don't care. <laughs> not legal you're not like like i don't care even with legal separation is like doing the paperwork and it's on file where legally separated no to me legally separated is divorce like there's no ties there so when i do start dating you as courtney was saying i'm gonna develop feelings for you fool so therefore i may want to let's say if i was romantic enough i may want to be with you like uh marry you but i we can't because you're still I don't understand women like that. Like, y'all just be wasting y'all time. Y'all be believing these lies. Like, God, I know somebody that was dealing with somebody for a long time that was married. And he just kept stringing her along, stringing her along, stringing her along. He was like, oh, when my kids graduate high school. Oh, when my kids graduate college. Oh, when my, my daughter has her grandbaby. Like, yeah, girl, seriously? Like, and then guess what? Now she's damn near 50 years old by herself because she was waiting on that man another reason why i can't be a side chick like you said i need attention so the fact that i know that somebody is above With me a lot of animals i don't appreciate it <laughs> so yeah I'm i'm not doing I have too much of my drink tonight so okay so that pretty much wraps up all of the questions that we have um uh we'll be back next sunday 
um we, we probably have like a special guest um up here as well um but i'll post the flyer probably like 48 hours 24 hours ahead but um thanks for tuning in thanks for joining us thanks for coming and thanks for watching um don't forget to subscribe to all the channels like all the pages or whatnot um the yummy tummy facebook uh the i've noticed podcast um uh, the youtube instagram courtney's instagram full My court instagram is full court f-u-l-l-c-o-r-t no you absolutely and kista is tagged you can also follow her as well um she should be back next week she's praising the lord today um pray for us kista <laughs> bye you guys bye.